Hello everyone! Today we'll take a look at the best instant cameras in the market for 2021. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I'll try to help you find the right one for your needs. To see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these cameras, you can check out the links in the description below. Before we start, I have a question for you guys. Which camera are you using right now and what is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. Fujifilm Instax Mini 11 – Best for the Money The Fujifilm Instax Mini 11 is a fresh entry-level instant camera from Fujifilm and a refinement of the Instax Mini 9 – there is no Mini 10. As the name suggests, the camera makes use of the Instax Mini film format. The Instax Mini 11 is really straightforward to use, making it a great choice for kids. Simply press the button next to the lens to pop it out. Switch the camera on and hit the shutter button by the viewfinder to take a photo. There are no buttons to fumble with. When you're done, push the lens back into the body to turn it off. The camera is by default held in the vertical orientation, making it good for portraiture. The viewfinder is a bit small, but that's par for the course with these Instax Mini format cameras. Image quality from the Mini 11 is good through and through compared with its peers. The addition of variable shutter speeds and slow synchro flash definitely seem to give it more versatility and tricky lighting than the Mini 9, which has a fixed shutter speed of 1 60th of a second. Shots in very low light tend to come out darker than desired. This is where some sort of exposure compensation would be useful. Ultimately, the Instax Mini 11 is for those seeking the easiest to use instant camera for the most popular instant film format. The addition of more reliable auto exposure is appreciated. Number 4. Fujifilm Instax Mini 40 – Best for Fun Use The Instax Mini 40 is the latest instant camera from Fujifilm, with a retro-inspired square design. Running on Instax Mini Film, this is a simple snap-and-go camera for those who want something a little more artistic for capturing memories. The camera measures 104x121x65mm and weighs 330 grams. It can easily slip inside a small bag, but is not as easy to use one-handed as other devices from Fujifilm are. Nonetheless, this is a good-looking device. The body of the camera is square in shape with slightly curved edges. The overall finish is textured, giving it a leather-like look from afar. It's understated and perfect for those who want an instant camera that looks retro, without having to pay crazy prices for it. The Instax Mini 40 produces Polaroid-style photos. Due to the muted colors and style, they have quite a vintage feel to them and are good for decorating your desk, putting in a scrapbook or in your wallet or purse. The camera takes the best photos outdoors in bright sunlight. Overcast weather often washes out the colors and indoors the colors are much darker. The Instax Mini 40 produces mostly great Polaroid style prints and is easy to use, even for complete beginners to photography. It especially shines when taking photos in the bright sunshine. If you want one of the best instant cameras in the market, you should definitely check out the Instax Mini 40. Number 3. Fujifilm Instax Square SQ1 – Best for Most People The Fujifilm Instax SQ1 is a stylish and easy-to-operate instant camera that makes use of the brand's Instax Square format film. The Fujifilm Instax Square SQ1 operates on two CR2 batteries that you load into the back of the camera near the door where you load a pack of Instax Square film. The SQ1 is bulkier than its Instax Mini counterparts, but that's to be expected since it's shooting on a much larger piece of film. You'll get the best results from this camera when shooting outside in sunny conditions, but it does have a powerful enough flash to work well once the sun sets. The auto exposure occasionally did seem to struggle when shooting indoors with mixed lighting situations, though. It's the one time when I wish that the camera at least featured the lighter or darker setting found on some Instax models. Regardless of the lighting conditions, this camera's simple lens is satisfyingly sharp. Although the Instax SQ1 lacks some of the features found on a more advanced SQ6, it's incredibly easy to operate, has a stylish look, and produces Instax prints with mostly accurate exposures and eye-popping colors. Those of us who grew up with a Polaroid camera probably remember the thrill of taking pictures and seeing them developed in front of our eyes. The SQ1 certainly brings back some of that nostalgia while introducing the medium to a new group of users. Number 2. Polaroid Now – The Most Versatile Point and shoot – that's the beauty of a Polaroid, and it's something that most of the time the Polaroid Now delivers. 
On paper, I'm a huge fan of everything the Polaroid now brings to the table. The camera recharges via USB, with an off-juice in the lithium-ion battery to shoot 13 to 15 packs of film without a problem. The flash on the camera is solid, and there's a distinct lack of faff as the camera only has four buttons – a power button, a flash toggle, a shutter, and a self-timer button you can hit twice for double exposure. Fancy autofocus technology handles your shots for the most part, with a smart system that works out what you're shooting and then nudges a 35 or 40mm lens once it's decided which is best. The Polaroid now marks a new chapter for the Polaroid brand and legacy. In its own right, it's a newly designed instant camera and a new Polaroid for a new decade, one that produces notably better images than the One Step 2. This is a Polaroid in every sense of the word, meaning the snaps can often look quite washed out. My usual point-and-shoot digital camera is an Instax wide, and while that has some impressive color depth, the Polaroids I've taken look less real and almost stylized with their own warm colors and faded style. The Polaroid now is a welcome arrival to the Polaroid product line and a worthy addition to the increasingly crowded instant camera world. Number 1. Polaroid Originals One Step Plus – Best Overall One of the best instant cameras in the market today is the Polaroid Originals One Step Plus. The thing is that right now everything retro is in style. From the record players, retro cars to the vintage fashion, everything is back. Polaroid is one of the best and most retro brands out there, and I can say that they did a pretty great job with the Polaroid Originals One Step Plus. I should also mention that the One Step Plus can be Bluetooth connected to the Polaroid app, and the app allows so much customization. I also noticed that it has a set of LED lights that show you how much battery charge and how much film you have left. The modes and the buttons of this instant camera are pretty easy to use, and overall the camera is very easy to use and comfortable to hold, too. I also forgot to mention that it has a solid build quality, and that makes this device very durable. It has many more great features that may not seem too flashy, but in my opinion, the little things matter. I want to go back to the app again because I want to mention that the app features double exposure and light painting modes, and that means you can take gallery-level photos on this instant camera. I would highly recommend this to any instant camera enthusiast because even though it doesn't look like a high-end premium instant camera, it delivers much more than you can expect. Buying Guide Display Instant cameras come equipped with a large full-color TFT LCD display. Photographers can use this display to compose images, play recorded images or videos, as well as adjust menu settings. It also provides the capability to rotate still images 90 degrees to the right or left. However, video clips cannot be rotated using the LCD display. ISO The ISO depicts the sensitivity required for shooting a particular image. Photographers can easily set the ISO higher in low lighting conditions to make the image visible. However, higher ISO means more pixelated or grainy image quality. The ISO range available for Polaroid cameras are ISO 100, ISO 200, and ISO 400. Image Quality This is the really tricky question to have answered. Image Quality Most instant film cameras have plastic lenses. The only way to get better quality is to go after the cameras with glass lenses. Lomography, Impossible Project, and Mint cameras are the only brands who have cameras that can do this, but that's something for another day. Process Time In an instant camera, the picture is produced nearly the instance it's shot. However, the picture must be given plenty of time to be processed and dried without any interference. How the picture is dried has a direct effect over the quality of the picture. The photos can take anywhere between 10 to 40 minutes to process. It's also common to see spots over pictures, but they dry away soon within 24 hours.